Hi folks, welcome to another Building Blocks with Dinobob. This is a look at getting wet, working with the water tool. And uh, I've set up a series of ponds here. Uh, they range uh, from left to right with the calm, the uh, ruffled, and the muddy water. And from front to back, they range from a half meter to a uh, two meter to a six meter uh, so the full range of depths you can see the character of the water uh, changes particularly between the half meter and the, the two and this is done right over the grass that uh, is uh, the base texture in the game so the half meter is unsurprisingly not very deep Right? If we were able to go down a little bit further there, you would see the water disappear entirely uh, because you don't get to see it from below. So I'm going to move out a little bit into the deeper section and demonstrate that so the, the water goes completely away. And you can see this is the 2 meter one and it makes a shallow bowl uh, whatever depth you pick. Uh, sometimes I guess a not too shallow bowl with the 6 meter. Uh, version. Right? So I go out to the middle of that and take a look up. Um, so quite uh, quite a bit uh, deeper. Now I'm going to pull up the uh, aquatic uh, texture painting and uh, pick the the ripple mud, which uh, can be seen a little bit easier. And I'm going to set it at about 50%. And this is 10 meters the same as the uh, same as I use for the actual painting. You'll notice it's flipping back and forth because that center uh, is the depth that it's set at. And it makes that bowl up from either side. So and I'll let the mud fill it out and you can see that the water takes on a different character uh, and it's going to be a little different at each depth and the muddy water with a mud base gets uh, quite dark uh, brown and the other waters still have some of their blue character, but the shallower they are, the less of that they retain. Um, even though it's still there, it at certain angles it doesn't even look like it's there. Um, so you can get a good bit of different character uh, in your uh, water by changing the different textures that you add uh, and changing the ones from different different uh, biomes uh, sorry I got a little focus on what I was doing you can see the water is still there right? and you'll mostly see it when you're in close at an angle and the lighter the color the, the more colorless the water uh, becomes uh, from a distance it'll still be reflective All right okay so you can do a lot of playing around with that come up with a lot of different effects uh, and I think you can have a lot of fun with that the uh, another feature that you can have fun with is we're going to drop below the water level here now I'm going to switch to the terrain tools um, I'm going to uh, let's take that down a little bit smaller. This is the flatten tool. Right? You can see that makes a very flat surface in the water. And we come out and look what it did to the edge. It um, a much less gradual edge. And we can use the smooth tool 
to, to smooth that down. But what it's not going to do is work past the actual boundary edge of the water anymore. Uh, it used to do that more and easily, but now it's been constrained. And uh, that'll probably make it easier for a lot of people uh, to work with. Uh, you can do all kinds of things uh, with the uh, terrain tool, but some things you can't do. So there's the... I'm pushing this out, as you can see, at the chosen level. Uh, and look what happened. The, uh, the berm that sort of holds the water in is still there. And you probably can't see that terribly well. Let's get rid of the grass. All right. At least some of the grass we can now see the terrain more easily. That berm stays in place, but it goes down to where it was set uh, further out and does its normal terrain thing beyond that. And uh, that normal terrain thing beyond that includes being able to smooth the whole thing. Right? So in a normal fashion. Um, this berm effect is often not terribly useful. They may or may, the devs may or may not uh, lessen uh, the width of that. It uh, can be problematic for certain kinds of uh, terrain if you're trying to make that. Um, but uh, no problem at all for others. You can still get a very good looking uh, situation with it. Picking up more or less where we left off the last time, uh, go back to the terrain menu, and uh, we really don't want it quite so big. Uh, but looking at some of the things you can do with the terrain, this is the the uh, what do they call it? The roughen tool, and you'll notice with the roughen tool, you can um, bring terrain up around uh, and through the water. So you hit it with the uh, roughen tool and come back with the soften tool. You can uh, get yourself a good way toward looking like um, a scattered pond area having first laid in a larger pond area. Uh, plants will do an enormous thing to make this look uh, more realistic, but <clears throat> it is a good way to use uh, the tools to get different effects. If we use the uh, erosion tool, it smooths it down even more on this, uh, this surface and gives you a, uh, a slightly different effect. You'll notice how it brought back a connector between the two sections of water. You know, so play around with this stuff. Do co cool uh, bills. You can get a tremendous variety of options with these tools. Uh, one of the things that also happens if you want to uh, enlarge or change the water that you're using, I'm going to put this back to the full depth, which is what we were using out here. Uh, so I've got the water tool now set here. I can move it. Now one of the things that's going to happen is when I get near the different kind of water, as you can see, we're getting that boundary resistance again. Right? So, um, you can't blend the waters. That's the, the, the simple thing there. But it does mean that you want to uh, be careful about how you bring them together. Uh, make it work for your design. And uh, just don't expect to blend them. Alright. So I'm making a much higher than I intended to do. 
version of this. How's that? That's better. Okay, so we've moved our mud up and, and we've created um, a not implausible slope here down to the water with a slight uh, beachy kind of area. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That, that, that's a useful thing. Um, but if we go to, this was the uh, calm water, if we go to the calm water and um, try to put it in up here, you see we're going to sharpen the cliff a little bit, but it's not going to want to get involved with the lower level of water. Uh, our boundary area is more narrow. Uh, and this is uh, pretty good, at, I think, if the waterfalls turn out to be something similar to Planet Zoo. This is a pretty good way and quick way to lay in uh, where the waterfall will go. Uh, so you can uh, quickly jump to uh, a rock texture. Come on. Rock texture? No. Yes. Okay, a rock texture here. And uh, we've got a little bit of uh, artifact uh, water here. Uh, not terribly useful to us right now. But from a distance, it looks like a small pool in a hollow in the rock. And that's, you know, that's a thing that happens in the rear wall. Uh, but um, this should make it easier to add any particle generators that uh, are used to make waterfalls. Uh, the foaming water at the top, the, uh, the actual falling water, and the splashes at the bottom. So, you know, with a little bit of uh, rock tossed in there, you can seriously enhance the look of this. Uh, all right, some of that would get hidden in the uh, the water effects, some of it not, uh, all depending on the design that you want to do for your piece. So I'm going to stretch that guy up a little bit, pull him out, stretch him a little bit more, and then move him into place. And I think you can easily imagine water coming over the edge here, uh, possibly over here, maybe another rock over here. And obviously, because of the height here, you can see it's going to be possible to make multi-stage waterfalls. Uh, very powerful tools we've got going on here. Uh, so, um, simple tool, uh, elaborate and powerful uses. Uh, I hope you have a good time playing with your water and getting wet in the prehistoric kingdom. I'll see you on another building blocks at some point. Uh, in the meantime, don't be afraid to check out my park builds and uh, any other stuff I put out. Subscribe if you're liking this stuff and uh, like it if uh, you find it useful, helpful, or even just uh, amusing. Uh, I'll see you in another video.